Hello, how's everybody doing? Well, I'm going to tear down, what was this one? Wait, uh, weigh in on it, okay? And this isn't an art thing. I'm going to show you some things that I learned from Way in on it, okay? This is developing. I mean, like, um, this station teaches you, I mean, we learn so many things together because I learned from you. It's funny, some things you, you learn, everybody knows that, who teaches something. You learn a lot more when you're ex teaching someone. I'm not really saying I'm teaching. I guess it's a back and forth, you know? Because I realize a lot of things when I'm actually doing the YouTubes. So that's why I think it's important for me to do the tear down and also the, um, the next project that I'm going to do. So the next project I'm going to do is um, Wasted Time, okay? Let me see if this is a straight now a little bit more. It's not really, I don't really, it doesn't really bug me. So anyway, so let me center this one. And we're tearing down, we're talking about, you know, like the experiences and the things that happened while I was doing it to make the next one better. Because if you know, like, the change, like for instance, what I've done here with um, uh, tear it down, with um, weight, um, weigh in on it. It's totally different from the ones that I did in the beginning. It's not that they're better, but you just um, utilize certain things, and you don't want to keep doing the same thing. So it brings you into another room or another experience. So these are much different from the ones that I did in the beginning. If you're familiar with this station and if you're not take a look at the artwork that I did with the Annie Mars and the music in the in earlier in the earlier YouTubes and when I tear things down I pretty much um, I pretty much tell you what happens while I was doing it when I'm doing the music with it it puts me it it grasps me and it makes me concentrate and focus more on the expression of like this one I had more of expression of um, uh, way in on it you know and I was like really it helped me even focus better and it gave me like a more of a place to do these things so now we're breaking this down and I got, always like to stay on screen, but I want to explain some things that I learned that I'm not going to say learn from, um, things that I understood when doing this. Like, for instance, I made, I mean, this one is effective because it has a lot of difference. It has space, okay? And which allows you to see certain things, especially since it's one color, okay? So, um, also, I made sure I did very small ones. Small ones is good for the light because the light has to show. And I said this a long time ago, but uh, the light exposes everything. So, you want to expose little things. You want to expose big things. So, it's very important to have these little things in here. And then I had like rooms. Rooms means a lot of things in art. And on this station, it means a lot of things. So when I say rooms, make sure you put it with the right, what do they call it? With the right, I, it's, when I'm doing videos, I want to use so many different words. But um, because we do so many different different um, topics in the station. So I have to keep it simple as far as the vocabulary is concerned for myself, <laughs> unless I, the words pop up the right way. So um, the context, okay? Um, for this one, the rooms I'm talking about is the context, okay? So remember, we I use rooms in a lot of different things, even with dance rock music, which now is, um, American yoga. I changed it from dance while music. It starts from dance while music, and now it's American yoga. I use the rooms a lot, but this one is when I say rooms, I mean the context of of this area, and then this area because I was doing this area first. And I'm gonna bring it down, and I'm gonna talk about it. And one of my friends told me a long time ago to make sure I like kind of raise my voice when I got my back turned. So when I was doing this, this part, 
it was all in like one context or all one room. And um, I knew that I couldn't have it all like this. I had to change the personality so you can see the different personalities in each you know, section or room. So this one was different. Um, this one was one room. And I was kind of getting tired of this room too, but I know it would look good with other different rooms or contexts. So this is where I started. So that made me show you, I mean, that made me see, as far as this art is concerned, that you have to have different ideas. You know what I mean? I mean, you don't want to just make it like a computer type thing, okay? So that's our learned. We also learned about the square, how I expose the square without making a border. And this one was, a, was just different. Here is where I just changed up. So this one was like more of a, I hope I'm still on. This one was more like a um, transition. Because this is where I knew that I had this room right here is when I knew I had to come up with new ideas. So that helped me out dope. So the first room was like, you know, I started the first room, it was really nice. But this room, right, right here, this section, was a transition. I had to transition something, okay? So I learned that. So in your art, when you have like a room, which is very important, and I have different kinds of rooms in it, and you have one section of art, as far as abstract is concerned, we have like transition. So this one was the transition part, okay? And I'm taking the transition down now. And then after I did the transition, I wanted to, let me get this done, okay. After I did the transition, I wanted to, um, I wanted to make sure that it was going to work. Especially the square, as far as the square is concerned. I wanted to make sure it was work. So what I did is I made sure that I um, that I took up space. I made sections after that because I knew I had room. So then I needed, I knew that the room was successful. So then I had to make rooms. In order to make, in, I had to make rooms and I had to make sure that I, you, that I was going to, to successfully use space. So what I did with that is I made these strips like that would handle different rooms. So that's why I did that. I wanted to take up some space. I just wanted to make sure that the space was going to be utilized. So that's why I did these, these, um, the, these big strips. And of course it has to be artistically. And then after I utilized that, I also wanted to make sure there were straight lines. I couldn't use it all the time, but I had to do some um, straight up and down lines. And I knew I didn't, I didn't need that much. So I put only like two in, okay? Because you want to make it to where your eye has to find things, okay? You don't want to make it to where everything is like exposed. You want it to make it to where um, your eye learns something. Your eye likes to learn things. I know, like I said before, doing this kind of art is very good for you too because it's something new all the time. And you should do it in your house, in a room, or whatever. You should do it and then have, you know, one of your roommates come in or your family members. There's something here. Oh, I got some clothes on I got some clothes in the dryer. So um, I'm gonna finish this and I want it, when I come back, I'm going to start wasted time. So thank you very much. What else can I tell you about this? Was well, like I said, after I finished everything, I made sure there was little pieces so that the light can kinda like, when you do very little pieces, the light plays tricks. It kind of exercises the light, exercises your eye. So that's why I use little pieces like this, okay? The eye loves it. But you have to do it in unison with everything else. 
Then, like I said, I had sections. I made sure numbers. These are numbers. I put numbers in it. Whenever you see something like that, it's in a room, but it's, I put numbers in there. Let me see if I have another number. Here's an, That's kind of like a number. This is kind of like a number because I knew I could only put three. Um, these are numbers here. See something else I could tell you. Remember the line? I could do straight lines, but I can't do straight lines too much. Angles are the same thing. You want to not put too many angles, but you need angles. Here's another. Okay, I already told you that. Then certain ones I made, if you looked at this first video when I first did it, I told you I wanted it to be a square, but I just want, I didn't want a border. So I had to make um, borders. I had to, I had to, with, I had to make borders by what I put in it. And sometimes I wanted to expose the borders more, so I put these things in, okay? And that's about it I wanted to tell you. And I told you about the, if you look at the first one, it shows you the rules that I made. You have to, most likely you have to, I mean, for this art that I'm doing now, we we're using more rules. I'm not putting the ones that I did before. I'm not saying it's better or it's more rudimentary, but that's not true. This is another kind of of art. It's developing into another different form. Okay, so I hope everybody liked um, way um, way in on it. Okay, and now we're I'm going to do wasted time when I come back. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.